Japan's land ministry has found that the amount of land below sea level in the Sendai Plain, Miyagi Prefecture, has increased fivefold since the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. The ministry on Thursday released the findings of an aerial probe using an ultra-sensitive laser-equipped camera to check subsidence across the Sendai Plain. The areas below sea level shown in blue on the map created from the survey span 16 square kilometers, which is about five times broader than before the March 11th quake. The map also shows in green areas now at full tide levels. The extent of such land has increased to 56 square kilometers from the pre-disaster total of 32 square kilometers. Many riverbanks and seawalls were damaged by the disaster. The land ministry is sandbagging the broken banks and calling on residents to be on the alert as these areas are highly vulnerable to flooding during high tides and typhoons. French nuclear energy giant Arriva has shown footage of a technology for decontaminating radioactive water which will be used at the Fukushima power plant. The footage was taken at Arriva's nuclear reprocessing plant in La Hague in northern France last Friday. It shows the decontamination of huge quantities of radioactive water produced in the reprocessing of spent nuclear fuel. Radioactive substances in the water are settled out by special chemical agents and the water is purified. Workers are seen remotely operating the facility from a control room. Tokyo Electric Power Company will set up the system at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and hopes to begin operating it in June. Arriva will dispatch 15 specialists to provide full technical support. At the number one reactor in the troubled Daiichi nuclear power plant in Fukushima, workers have increased the amount of cooling water being injected into the containment vessel and they say the reactor temperature has been going down gradually since the increase. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, says it plans to raise the water level to the full height of the fuel rods in the reactor's containment vessels by July. The utility increased the amount of water injected from 6 to 10 tons per hour on an experimental basis on Wednesday morning in an attempt to check how effective it is for cooling. It says the temperature at the top of the number one reactor was down by more than 25 degrees to about 107 degrees Celsius before noon on Thursday. TEPCO says the current pressure inside the reactor containment vessel is 1.2 atmospheres. It is closely watching the interior pressure. It will continue injecting nitrogen as well to avoid a possible hydrogen explosion. What the fuck? The plant operator says it will decide if it will continue injecting the current amount of water by checking the status of the reactor. The seven-foot gator, seen here being wrestled into submission, apparently got in through the doggy door and chased her cats all around the house.